Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the uh, Jefferson County Prosecutor's Office where cold Chrissy boy, Denver Metro audits is throwing a temper tantrum because... An assault case in which he was the plaintiff for was dismissed, and apparently nobody told him about it, so he's going to complain. But he doesn't understand the procedures of the building, and as a result, he complains some more about the procedures that he doesn't understand. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because I just went to court for Robin Fram, who was at the library, the lady that assaulted me. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, don't touch me, lady. What am I doing? Hey, oh, this lady's assaulting me. Get outside. Whoa. Go outside. What are you doing? Get away. I just said you can't Get film away. me, and you're filming me. And they dismissed the charges, and nobody's been keeping me in the loop. I went to the hearing today. I had to figure out when the hearing was on my own. And found out they dismissed the charges. So um, we're here to figure out why and why the victim's advocate hasn't been uh, reaching out to me to keep me in the loop of what's going on. Um, you know, it's funny that what happens is, uh, this isn't the first time this has happened. I mean, I've been assaulted. I got hit with a cane in the chest. I had a huge bruise, like an actual physical injury. Oh, poor baby. Uh, dude, uh, you're not gonna find any sympathy out of me. I've worked in the real world where people get injured all the time and have to work through their pain and get the job done. And at the end of the day, we don't go home crying to our mamas like you do. My chest was sore for several weeks and I was in Denver. They did an investigation, decided they're not gonna do anything. Uh, they didn't have enough evidence, they said, even though I had video evidence, I pulled them out of a lineup, everything. Now we're over here in Jefferson County where I got assaulted at that library, and now they're dismissing the charges. You know, it's like when a guy with a camera goes in to City Hall and records. It's never about the camera. It's about the way you carry yourself, the way you act toward other people, the way you act like you're so surprised superior to everybody else the way that you say well you're my public you're a public servant obey me that's exactly what you are that's exactly how you sound to everybody else so no wonder you draw such a negative response from everybody that and the fact that you try to play the victim card every single time you interact with somebody i get arrested and they don't drop the charges for me, but when people assault the guy with the camera in public, they just drop all the charges all the time. You know what I mean? I'm sick of it, man. I'm pissed. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I need to come in, please. Who are you? Uh, my name's Christopher. And Christopher, who are you with? I'm with myself. There's no one else here with me. What company are you with, or why? Are, what are you doing? With I, the I, I'm not. I'm not with a company. I'm with myself, but I have business here. So I have you a case. Have what? I have business here, ma'am. I need to be let in this building, please. Come on now, Chrissy. Boy, you should know better than that. I mean, you got to state your business, state your case in order to be let in the building. You just can't demand to be let in the building. It doesn't exactly work that way. Especially with this kind of uh, business, considering it is a uh, prosecutor's office. And, uh, well, they don't want any just anybody coming in there to disrupt their business. So best thing probably to do right here would have been to just state your purpose right off the bat. Otherwise, piss off. What do you have business with? Who are you here to see? Well, can I talk to somebody inside, please? I mean, I can explain my business when I get inside. I can't let you in until I know what you're here for. I'm here to see if I can, I need to speak with somebody in the DA's office. Do you have a case with us? Yes. 
Yeah, he says he he says that he has a case with us and he Jonah, wants to talk to No, I'm not a claim that I was sent over by the courts. And well, I, I have business to conduct here, ma'am. I have a case number, everything that I need. I don't understand why you guys are keeping me in this foyer. If you could, could you write that case number down for me? Uh, who are you? My name's Jennifer. Um, you can go, go ahead and go out there. Just, just quickly go. So, yeah, could you have that case number? Yes. Sure. So, what's your position here? I'm happy to, uh, I, I, I'm employed by the district attorney's office, so I'm happy to help if I can. Okay, well, how come I can't come into the, to the, why are we doing business here in the foyer? I mean, I'm a member of the public, I have business here, why can't I go into the, to sure. the main area like everyone else? Is it because and I have a camera or what? Oh, such a lovely little persecution complex. I have a camera, therefore everybody's going to be persecuting me. No, dude, this is a business. They want to know what your type of business that you have before they let you in. It has nothing to do with your camera. I mean, Chrissy boy, just think about it. Is this a Walmart? Or is it a prosecutor's office where there's a lot of insensitive information that people can just take advantage of? Oh, yeah, that's it. It is a sensitive information area. And they just can't let any idiot come in here. You know, idiots like you. No, if you give the case number, we can um, get you inside. Is so this how I everyone is treated? If you come in, you have to have people come in here and give you a case number. Can I help you, sir? This is public defenders. So you just go over there, and okay. here's the directions written out for you, um, and then you'll okay. see their office. There's a, it's kind of a large office building there. Okay. Thank you. So I don't understand why you're here. I have to give you the case number and the foyer. It's hot. I'm getting sweaty. Why am I not allowed to come into the... You guys are like coming in here, and you shut the door right away, so I can't come in. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is a public building, right? Come on now, Chrissy boy. You gotta realize by now that not all buildings are public and certainly not all buildings are gonna be willing to let you in no matter what you have in your hands. In fact, I got an idea for you, dude. Why don't you go over to Washington, D.C., march right up to the Pentagon and demand them to let you in because this is a publicly funded building and therefore I should be let in here to audit you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll be very popular over there. You are here for business. Yeah, of course I'm yes, here for business. Sure. Yeah, sure. but that's what I'm saying. Can and I come inside, it? please, where it's like nice and air conditioned to conduct business and in there? And what's the case number? So you, you're so you're gonna make you're not this, willing to give me a case number. I'm number. willing to give you the case number, but is this how you treat everyone? You have to give the case number in the foyer. Yes, you have to give a reason for that's your policy, your procedure. Can I have the case number? Is that the procedure? Is that like your defined process to make everyone give their uh, case number in the foyer and you have people come in here before you're allowed to come inside a public building? Do you have a case number? Yeah, I'm asking you a question, Jennifer. Yes, and I'm asking you a question. And I understand you want the case number, I have it right here, I'm about to give it okay. to you, but is that your defined process? Everyone has to give the case number in the foyer before they're allowed inside a public building? There's some information that's given before the allowed access. Oh, Chrissy boy. Oh, man. Yeah, you have to give some information before you get in there. Now, if you would have only allowed them to explain that to you before you had this little hissy fit of yours. But I suppose that's the price of being a windbag like you. You won't let anybody else talk, so you don't get any of the vital information. So it depends what that information okay, is. Are you ready for the case number? Sure. 22M5133. 5133? Okay. What's your position here, ma'am? And so what would you... Um, is that your case? Ma'am, what's your position here? I'll go look it up if you're not going to answer my questions. Thank you. guys you. are ridiculous, man. What's your name, man? Let's control the access in here. I'm just going to comment here. This is ridiculous. So I come in, guys. I go to the court and... She's not on the docket, so come to find out that I guess they dismissed the charges. 
I mean, this is a public lobby, man. This is a public building. Uh, no, dude. This is not exactly a public building. That's quite obvious considering that, uh, well, you ended up just barging your way in there because somebody left the door ajar. So, there's that. That's on you. But the lady out there just stated that you do have to give some information about your purpose in that building. So, therefore, you would get past the foyer. Now, the room that you have just entered is a waiting room. Once you get past the foyer, this is where you come to sit down at, waiting for your appointment. Now, do you get that, Chrissy boy? Or is the concept of secure buildings way over your head? Well, Chrissy boy, I guess at this point in your frauding career, I think that the concept might be just a little bit out of reach for your simple little brain. So, just carry on with your stupidity. He's constantly looking look at this. There's couches, everything else, man. That's fine. John's going to help you. Um, are you Christopher? Yes. Okay, John is um, an investigator with our office, and he can hopefully answer some questions that you have, okay? Okay. Thank you. What's your position, uh, Jennifer? You never answered my question. No? Okay. She, she's the assistant district attorney. Assistant district attorney. Yes, what's yes. your name? My name's Brianna. Brianna. What's your position? Director of Public Affairs. Okay. Do you have a business card? Sure. I would appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Brianna. Hi there. Hi. How can I help you, sir? Yeah. So um, I came down here because I was the victim of a crime. Um, the victim's advocate has not been in any contact with me whatsoever. Um, so we got some, what do we got back up here? What's going on here? Well, what uh, can we do to help you? Yeah, I'm trying to explain that. First of all, can I get your name, please? My name is John Encampo. I'm an investigator here at the district attorney's office. Okay, do you have a business card? Not with me. All right. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, no one's been in contact with me in regards to this case. Um, and so I found out that there was a motion to dismiss today. Um, I had to find out on my own research because, like I said, nobody's keeping me in on the loop, in the loop of what's uh, going on with this case. So I show up to court today as the victim of the crime and found out that they dismissed the charges. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to uh, talk to the district attorney. I, don't, I need to know who the district attorney is that's in charge of that particular case. Mm -hmm. And I needed to, to find out what the grounds was for dismissing the charges when there's video evidence of the crime. Is that what you're asking for? Yeah. Okay. Hold on just a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, Mr. Cordova. Um, anyways, the motion was dismissed. Basically, uh, the DA felt um, that there's no reasonable likelihood of success at trial. It cannot meet the elements. And uh, apparently it said, uh, your conduct contributed to inability to meet the elements. Okay, so the investigation found that the assault wouldn't have happened if you had not been the antagonist. Oh, that's so funny, uh, Chrissy boy. This just caught up with you once again. But of course, you're just going to find some way to twist this into your favor to make it look like you are being persecuted, aren't you? Isn't that what you're going to do? Let's see. Yeah, let's see how he makes this into all about him being persecuted. Um, and they've not heard from you since December. Yeah, how come nobody's been reaching out to me? That's another sure, issue. I, I have no having. idea. I have no idea. So you said, asked. That's what's in. That's what's in. That's what's in the system. You said something about my conduct. What did that yeah. say? Your conduct contributed to inability to meet the elements. My conduct. So yeah. walking into a public library peacefully and having a woman initiate contact with me and grab my arm. That's that's my conduct. It's contributing to not being able to prosecute. Well, there you go. Uh, wasn't I right? I mean, he would find a way to uh, make it out like he is the victim here. Like he was in the right. Yeah, poor little guy. Like you didn't do anything to antagonize a single person in that building. So 
Oh, you poor persecuted little thing. Why don't you go home to mommy so she can give you a nice glass of milk and some warm chocolate chip cookies? Mr. As it, it, I mean, I have the whole thing on. It's up on YouTube, the well, video, the well, entire interaction. It's Mr. unedited. Mr. Cordova, okay. I have the name of the deputy DA who had the case, but apparently another deputy DA handled it. I'll give them your information and I'll have them contact you. That'd be great. I mean, I don't okay. understand why they were in contact with me Sir, this whole entire I, time. I have no idea. I was come down to contact. I was asked to come down to contact you, find out what your complaint was, and I will pass on your information and your feelings to the deputy DA, and they can um, they can contact you. I'll make the point that they contact you and explain to you the situation. What's the name of the deputy DA? I thought the first one was a deputy DA, Kaylin Ronicker, but apparently Miss Ronicker was not available, so Miss. Dep uh, Deputy DA Molly Altman handled the case. Molly Altman? Altman, yes. Altman? She, is there a business card that she has that I can take with me? Um, like, do they have one at the reception desk over there? I'll get her number for you. Yes. Okay? Do you have my, I'll give you my phone number too so she can That's reach fine. out to me. All right. Give me, Ali, get me Molly Altman's number. Okay guys, so there's another police officer right here, this lady. So we got three police officers in here because a concerned citizen is in here. And yes, I'm, I'm obviously upset uh, for having these charges dismissed and the way I was treated outside in the foyer by Jennifer. Here you go, sir. That's Ms. Altman's number. What is your number, okay, sir? Can you, can you uh, write down her name? Because I'm not going to be able to remember that, please. Here's your name. Thank you. What is your number, sir? Okay, it is 720. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got it. Okay, sir, I'll pass on your information. Okay. And okay. your concerns. All right. Are we all done, sir? Yeah, I just needed to get. Um, you said you had a business card. Can I, can I get that from you? You don't have one on you, though? Can you I don't have it? one with me. No. Here, I'll give you my name and number, right? Fine, that's fine. Thank you. Go. Uh, Ma'am, can I get your name, please? Stacy Galbraith. Do you have a serial number or batch number? DA29. Okay, are you here for me? Am I here for you? Yeah. She's assisting I'm you. backing up these guys. So, okay, so you have backup here. So one, two, three police officers um, in the lobby here. Ma'am, are you going to give me your business card? Are you sure that you need my business card? Yeah, yes, please. I'm in public affairs, so okay. I don't think that I would be Well, I mean, you came out and made contact with me here in the foyer, so I'd like to get your information, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, yeah, um, I was just wondering why you have three police officers here. You sometimes, said you're here for backup. Sometimes the situation gets a little volatile out here, so therefore we like to make sure that we have the situation adequately covered. Okay, let me go and explain this to you so your narcissistic little mind can handle this. But of course, I don't think it'll be able to. There, This is a precautionary method because there are people out there that when they come into this office, they may cause trouble. So they have to have people out there to remedy that situation. It's not about you, it's about the population as a whole because there are troublemakers out there. Troublemakers such as yourself who don't understand how things work. Now, was that too much over your head, little Chrissy boy? If not, well, okay. If it was, well, too bad. I tried. It's not my fault that you can't uh, comprehend simple facts. What would, why are, or do you think the situation is going to get volatile with me? Have I made any threatening gestures or do I made any comments about having any ill will or ill intent to any individual in here? See, there you go. All about you. It's always about you. 
try listening next time, dude, because he didn't say it was exclusively about you. He said that there are other people in the past that have tried something here. So that's why they have the backup for precautionary measures. No, but we're just taking okay. precautions, that's all. Yeah, but I'm saying that's kind of weird, right? That you would have three police officers over here. Which is why? Because I have a camera and I'm upset, upset citizen. Is that why? Nope. I mean... It's not all about you, dimwit. So this is proper procedure. So anyone that comes in here and they're upset about a charge being dismissed, this is the procedure, your defined policy, or you just have three police officers These coming? two officers are backing me up, okay? But that's what I'm saying. Why do you need backup? Why do you feel are threatened? You, are you done, Mr. Cordova? Oh, I'm still having a conversation with you. I'm not done yet. I think we're about done. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's look, uh, look at this. Ow! Look at this, look at this, this conduct. Out, sir, you're disrupting the business. I'm not, why, by standing here in a public lobby that's disrupting business? Let's go, sir. Is that a lawful order? Are you, yes, are sir, you, please leave. What, it's a lawful order? Sir, just please leave. I'm asking you about if it's a lawful order, sir. Well, yeah, dude, it is certainly a lawful order. In fact, here is the a good definition of a lawful order directly from a Long Island audit video. Law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. Is it a lawful order that I leave the foyer? We, we have other stuff that we have to get back to. So I understand, but I'm over here trying to have a conversation with you guys. I understand, but you've gotten the information you need. And I was trying to have a conversation. Look at this guy's conduct. But, that, at least you're being professional. But, but we're done. I'm but actually, we're not done. I'm I, actually, I was still having a conversation. I'm supposed to be in a meeting with a victim right now. I, I think you should get back to work. I think you should go to the meeting. I don't think that you need know, to be here babysitting but, me. But once you're out of our building, it's a secure building. Yeah, but this is not a secure area. This but is the foyer. Already, we've already we've already answered your questions. But this is a foyer, and this is public. We've answered your questions, yep. and we've given you an avenue to have any more additional questions answered. Okay, and I actually was in the middle of talking to you guys, and this guy gets all irate and says we're done, and trying to kick me out. I'm asking him if it's a lawful order. He won't answer my question, so I'm asking you guys right now: Is it a lawful order for me to leave the foyer? Do you have any more business here? Yes, I do have what, business what here. I mean, that was in the mid process of that. But you guys, you guys just stormed off. We, but I'm asking a, a question, and I need to, I need a yes or no answer. Is it a lawful order for me to leave this foyer? Have we answered your questions? You're answering my question with a have question. Have we answered your question? No, you haven't answered my question. What's questions? your question? Well, you, first, came in, you came in for information about a case that you're involved in. We yes. gave it to you. None of us yeah. are involved in that case. And then case. I tried to have a, a further conversation with you in regards to why you have so many people here for backup, you said, for a man with a camera. And then this guy acts totally professional and filed a complaint on him now. And now I have more business. So people, I need I need whatever your, what is your complaint escalate. process? People what? escalate. That's why we're here. This guy is the one that escalated. This guy is the one that escalated, raised his voice, started acting very, oh, look who Hi, is. Chris. How you been? Hey, what's up, uh, Officer Larson? Yeah. You gonna call me a jackass today or no? This guy's being a jackass. Bro. He's being a jackass just like they are. He's just trying to be a jackass. Do you mind printing out two copies and we'll give this jackass one? We can't prevent him from being a jackass. Well, agreed, it's but... the fucking game these guys play. Who are you it's Officer Larson. Sergeant Larson. Hey, I need to file a complaint still. Hey, I still have business in here. I still have. Well, now I am just going to end it right here, considering that all he does for the next 20 or 30 minutes is just stand at this door and complain about not getting in there. But you know what, Chrissy boy, I'm going to leave you with uh, something I once heard somebody say. When you encounter an asshole, you've encountered an asshole. But when you're always encountering assholes, it's the possibility that you might be the asshole. So, in this case, yeah, I would definitely think you are the asshole. So, asshole, why don't you go and complain all you want, because it's not going to get you anywhere. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.